This is the last video in a series on how to develop an embedded coder target for an ARM Cortex-A based hardware platform. We have used the ARM Cortex-A SDK to build a target for Bigabone Black and we have added a number of features to it. In this final tutorial, we will take a quick overview of the profiling capabilities offered with the reference target. So let's get started. By now, the sequence should be familiar to you. So let's add the feature. Now we map it to the target. As you can see, the rest of the features with fill and external mode are present and profiler is listed here as well. Let's look at some of the properties of the profiler. The profiler feature generates code that measures execution performance of the algorithm. It can also analyze how the generated code performs on different cores of a multi-core system. So because it calculates execution times um, of the algorithm code, we need profiling instructions to be inserted into the generated code. And for this, we need to set the timer properties. Note the timer ticks per second property here. We have picked this number because Bigabone Black has 1 GHz clock frequency. We also need Specify to change the source files for profiling function and whatnot. So these set of commands right here set these properties for the profiler. So now once we are done with that, let's save the target and then test it. Now to test this feature on its own, I've created this example model where we have a constant block going to a gain inside a subsystem and the same thing in implemented as a pill. So the profiling test, uh, the profiler sh works in both simulation modes, SIL as well as PIL. Just so you know, I've set certain configuration parameters to make sure that we have the profiling data available in the form of the variable execution profile. So let's run the simulation and the variable should be created in the current workspace. So now that the simulation is complete, let's look at the workspace. There's the variable execution profile. And all you need to do to analyze the profile report is just run rep the function report on the execution profile variable and then you'll be able to analyze individual functions that you have profiled. That completes the last tutorials in this series on how to develop your custom target based on ARM Cortex-R processors. Thank you.